Hey guys. Oh no, she's got acne this week. What a bummer. Um, I just wanted to hop on here before we get into the vlog and uh, give a little disclaimer. I'm doing a story time, but I'm talking about a point in my life when I was still heavily drinking. And it kind of looks like I'm glamorizing my experience and laughing at it, but in all honesty, like humor's how I deal with my trauma and my shame and I can't take back my past, nor would I want to because God bless this broken road that led me straight to you. Everything about my drinking has always been uh, disordered and I've always abused alcohol or any substance that I could get my hands on. So the amount of drinking that I'm talking about is not something that I'm condoning or taking lightly. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I just want to be like, I don't think drinking excessively to the point of death is funny. Um, enjoy the story. <laughs> I'm not allowed to knock because there's a sleeping baby. We're going to have to stop doing the people questioning. Right. I think I know exactly what is that. Hey, baby. Guess what? What? Welcome to Spa Lizzie. <laughs> It's the 5th of July. That's right, that's right. I'm gonna put me online. You guys, we got Mal Mal. Hi! Not to be confused with Mal. <laughs> Sometimes I typo my own name to be Mal. So Mal's come to me today because she needs her nails done. And so I decorated the office to be a spa. Oh my god, obsessed. We're doing a whole spa day. Are you ready for the reveal? Cover your eyes. I'm scared. <laughs> hold on, let me put my stuff down. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, hold I'm on. Grabbed. I'm opening the door. Okay, Three. Come on, step towards my voice. Step towards my voice. Two. One. Reveal. Oh my god, it's stunning. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you find? This is my friendship making quarter. <laughs> you make friendship in that quarter? Yeah, only friendship. <laughs> okay, buddy, you gotta go. I'm scared you can eat something here. Try not to step on anything. Okay, yeah, that easily done. Easily done. <laughs> Take a seat in the massage chair. That I will do. Wow. Shockingly, you're in frame. Oh my god, amazing. Okay. So you're going to go to, we're going to do tension release. Okay, I love it. tension We're going to go release. sports because you just got just from working out. out. Yeah. yeah. I'm moving forward? Yeah, it's going to cradle you like a baby. This is a ship. I'm yeah. in a ship. It's the best. You're going to want to lean back. Oh, it's squeezing me. I take back everything I said about the cup holder. You idiot. <laughs> I did not mean to besmirch this amazing machine. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. I'm running a legit ass salon up in this bitch. <laughs> you are. <laughs> it's massaging my butt. Yeah. I want everyone at home to know it's massaging my butt. It doesn't not make you horny. How many times have you had an orgasm in this chair? I not one, know. not one. Okay. Have I ever told you about the time I got arrested in college? No. Well, you know about the time I got arrested in high school, right? Yeah, because weren't you in the back of the van and you slipped out of your handcuffs? Okay. Actually, that's every time I've been arrested because... <laughs> <laughs> because to be... No, just to be completely honest, like, I got this crazy gift. <laughs> you know, God grant, like, no one gets this. Uh, can you guys see this? Can you see yeah, hey. that my wrist can, that my hand can become the same fucking size as my wrist yeah. really easy? Yeah. So try to lock me up, bitch. You can't. It's getting aggressive. <laughs> I'm not just you, the massage. <laughs> it's inside you. <laughs> yeah, like almost. <laughs> Those little nervous hands. It's taking my virginity. <laughs> Her hymen's finally broken. <laughs> Sorry, Oski. Sorry, Oski, but the chair had to do it. Someone had to. Someone okay, I'm laying back, but I'm listening. Maybe I have told you this story. And everyone knows that in high school I was arrested for stealing a life-size wooden cow. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Literally everyone, including my family, because when I was arrested I was like, ornery as f Is that the right word? Ornery. Ornery? Mm -hmm. Ornery? It's pronounced ornery? I think so. Ornery? Could be ornery, but I no. think it's ornery. I recently learned something else recently that I don't know the word right now because I'm dying because I was up till 3 a.m. having anxiety about the Titanic. <laughs> 
why was the Titanic giving you anxiety? Because I watched the movie again, and every time, like, t disaster movies and war movies, mm -hmm. if I watch them before bed, I don't bed. Interesting. My adrenaline gets really high, and is I just... Is this real? I don't know. Maybe James Cameron's just a hell of a storyteller. Yes. But the last time this happened was uh, New Year's Eve, and it was the Benghazi recreation uh -huh. and like how do you fall asleep after Benghazi I went to Chico State <laughs> which is a school known for its academia <laughs> and its theatrical excellence mm -hmm. it also uh, was Playboy's number one party school in the 80s so we were right on the Sacramento River and at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year there's always like a first and last massive float where Thousands of children who are under the influence of alcohol get in inner tubes and float down the Sacramento River. People die every year. The Sacramento River is like a large river. It's not like a creek where, yeah, like people, you can drown in that river. Oh, very easily, because yeah. it carries. It's got a strong current. It's yeah. got a strong current. It carries you all the way down. So you get in at this one port and like there, uh, there's literally thousands of kids. Like it's like a Taylor Swift concert. Well, it's not hundreds of thousands of kids, but it's a lot of kids. Mm -hmm. And we all get in inner tubes and we're all up and we tie our inner tubes to each other. And we float down to this island of rocks called Beer Can Beach. And at Beer Can Beach, there's sometimes music. No, there's, there's always music, but it's like you're just up walking on rocks sunburnt and showing your titties and when you show your titties people throw beer at you <laughs> <laughs> it's everything <laughs> like they splash beer at you or they like throw you a beer to drink no they throw <laughs> at you <laughs> they're like violently throwing cans at you <laughs> they're th they're like shaking a beer up and throwing it at you uh, like so there's a reward for showing your titties <laughs> and it's getting assaulted. Yeah, super incentivized with assault. It. And we it was so fun. You know, I did it every year. And this one year, I it was I think it was my junior year of college. And I was there with my boyfriend at the time and Haley, who's, you know, my baby mama. Mm -hmm. And my roommates, and one of my roommates was like six foot four. Just this big bitch and had a drinking problem. And uh, because of that, society deemed her harder to help. Yep, yep, yep. It happens. Yes, it does. So we go to Beer Camp Beach. I'm all f***ed up. I had a, uh, what are those? I had a camelback full of four loco. And this was before the recall when they made it <laughs> non-lethal. <laughs> like in college, we used to just drink four locos. We would have two each and right. that would be like, we'll sip on this through the night, but we've already had a fifth to our faces. Right, right, right. And that was not all I had to drink that day. I've been, we heavily pre-gamed. And um, we're leaving and we're, we're finishing the float where you go down from Beer Can Beach to, a Sco uh, to Scotty's Dock. I think Scotty's is like a restaurant or a bar or something. And you're in the middle of nowhere. There's police, there's always a and of police and medics and fire why. trucks. <laughs> what? I said I can't imagine why. So they're there to help, right? We're getting out, and my f***ing Amazonian roommate is so f***ed up she can't stand up in the river because the current's so strong. And that's where bad things happen. Like, yeah. literally, that's where bad things happen. Yeah. And I'm f***ed up, but I'm conscious, and because I remember everything. Like, I remember nothing from high school. Like, that script I just wrote has been, I've been having flashback nightmares <laughs> because I forgot everything in high school. But this I remember very clearly. She could not stand up, she kept falling over, and nobody was helping her. And I... And what I, it takes me a minute to realize this because I'm already out of the water. And I turn around and I see that she's floundering. And so I go back and a police officer says, ma'am, do not go back, you're getting out of the river. And I was like, oh, I am getting out of the river, but I have to go back, I have to help my friend. Yeah. He goes, no, you're getting out of the river, do not go back in the river. And now he's mad at me because he thinks that I'm just being arbitrarily oppositional. And right. I'm like, I'm not being oppositional. My roommate is my charge. Right. I am a loyal bitch. Yeah. If I go out with you, I'm coming home with you. Except for now in sobriety, I'm just like, whatever, good luck, man. I'm going home. It's too, it's too late. <laughs> but at the time, it's like, we, we ride together. We die together. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, dude, whatever. What are you going to arrest me for helping my friend? And he's like, if you take one step back, into the river, I will arrest you. And I was a legal studies major, so I was like, I don't know if you can do that. <laughs> and I'm gonna call you bluff. Turns out, 
cops can do whatever the f they want to you. Oh, yeah, they can do whatever they want. Within a heartbeat, no one's helping out. Get out. Oh, I don't want to say her name. No one's helping my roommate get out of yeah, the river. Bleep it. Bleep it. She's, she, so, like, I don't even know what happens to her because before I know it, this mother has me pinned on the fucking floor in my tube top bikini and strapping my hands into zip ties behind my back. And then I'm crated off to what looks like a U-Haul for drunk kids. Mm -hmm. And they put me at the U-Haul and I was like the first one in there and I was alone for about five minutes and then they started throwing more bodies in there with me and they threw my friend Hannah in. I hadn't even gone with her to the to the float that day. She just showed up. She just showed up in the truck eventually. So Hannah gets thrown in the truck and she's sobbing because it's terrifying, we're being arrested. And um, I'm like, no, Hannah, it's okay. Like, it's not real. Like, I don't even know what they could charge us with. Like, at this point, we're all 21. Right. You know, I mean, I could be public intoxication, but I don't know why they would just do that. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Because uh, they've got drunk drivers that they're picking up and like, oh, it, there's, a, there's a bunch of actually offensive people out in the world. Right, right. And then I go, look, Hannah, I can slip out of my zip ties. It's okay. Because for some reason, I thought that would comfort her. Like that wouldn't make the cops more angry. <laughs> I wasn't thinking about the cops, Mal. I was thinking about my buddy. So I, zi I slip out of my zip ties, and then they throw another kid in the truck, and I'm just out there, like, willy-nilly. But, like, also, where am I going to go? Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm in the back of a f***ing police U-Haul. But at that point, it felt like freedom. Yes. So they got pissed. And they were like, what the f***? And I was like... What, I was like, chill guys, like, this is a moving vehicle. Like, I'm not about to jump out of a moving vehicle and I can't slip out of the f***ing walls. They put a chain around my waist and then they put one hand in cuffs and put it to my waist and then they put the other hand in cuffs and put it on my waist and chained me, my hands to my waist. Then they took me to a side cage of the U-Haul and strapped me into like a padlock chain in and then there was like a little gate around the side chamber mm -hmm. and they locked me in there oh my god as if i was going anywhere yeah and i'm like this seems like a lot you guys like i don't know if this is necessary i wasn't even being i wasn't even being a bitch like i really wasn't even right. being a bitch and that's when i got crazy yeah yeah, yeah. And I was, I got very mad and I started screaming. I don't remember what I was screaming, but I do remember to make a point. I pissed <laughs> as if that would f their s*** up. I was like, well, okay. And I just started pissing. <laughs> and then all my friends in the f***ing U-Haul, because at this point there's five of us like in this U-Haul and I know right. Hannah, I don't know the other guys in there, but it was like a co-ed U-Haul and someone was like, did you just piss? Like everyone's mad because we're like it's open we're floor. Trapped, like yeah. we're all trapped with my piss in this U-Haul for the <laughs> long drive to Orville. Oh no. Yeah. So that's where that's the only place where they can book you out there. So they take us up to Orville. We're literally all we have are our bikinis. Like we're right. in bathing suits. Right. I have my bikini. I have a four loco on my back, and that's it. <laughs> and then they take our. I had just gotten my belly button pierced, and the woman was like, "I'm gonna have to take this out." And I was like, "Oh, can you not? Like it's still healing." Yeah. And she's like. That's the rules. And I was like, listen, lady, like, I'm not going to try and swallow it to kill myself. Like, <laughs> this isn't it for me. Like, I'm not going to kill myself over what just happened here today. Like, please don't f up my piercing. Yeah. And she ripped it out. No. Oh. Yeah. Ugh. These people were pissed. And then I was like, I realized, like, because every year when somebody, this is up, but when somebody dies on the river every year, the first thing that everybody thinks is that they're just missing. Crews from the Butte County Search and Rescue Team scoured the air and ground near the Sacramento River once again today. Oh, and then I'm thinking, none of the people know that I went to the float with know where I am or what happened to me. Right. And I say, I need to call for help. Yeah. And like when you go on the float, you put everything in a Ziploc bag and you put it in some place on your body or you just bring nothing. Mm -hmm. And I believe I had my cell phone in a Ziploc bag. Oh, no, 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 I had nothing. I had nothing, but they put you in a room to make a call. But the call that you make can only be local. To Orville? Yes, local to Orville only. Oh my God. Am I zoomed in or zoomed out? Am I in frame? Yeah, n lower a little, yeah. So I'm in Orville, bro. And I'm in, like, at this point, they've given us orange jumpsuits to wear. And I'm like, nobody knows where I am. Like, please let me make a call. And they're like, we put you in a room with a phone. I was like, you put me in a room with a phone that can only call local. I We're all college students. None of us are 
fucking from Orville, bro. Right. We don't, there's not one local number we can call. They're like, well, too bad. And they were pissed at us. They were like hella mad at us. And yeah. I'm like, do you know what all of us did? Cause it wasn't. We just got drunk on the river. We just got drunk on the river. Like nobody was being an asshole. I was trying to help my roommate. Hannah's still crying. Oh. Like all of it's like, nobody here is a bad person. So stop treating us like we're bad people. We're all 21 idiots. Yeah. And they don't care. They just don't get it. And then I, you know, I'm still pissed. They go like, well, we put you in a room with a phone and that's the best we could do. And I was like, right, I could put you in a room with a hooker and she's still not gonna suck your dick. I said, I know my rights. I get to make a call. I have not been able to make a call and I need to use your landline. Like, give, like, take me to the office. I'm making a call. And then I started making calls from the office phone and all of us were able to make calls out. And I like called my idiot boyfriend. I was like, so I was arrested. He's like, oh, that's what happened. And I was like, that man couldn't have been dumber dude <laughs> and then like we we're all just waiting to sober up they had us in like a, a drunk tank do they split up by the sexes yeah. and the, the officers kept coming by and tapping on our glass window and pointing down at me and being like that's the one who slipped her cuffs as if it mattered right and the more i tell the story i'm just like is this even interesting <laughs> like it's so boring and then they booked us but they charged us with nothing like there was a kid that they got for drunk driving and he got charged with something but they charged every like we didn't get charged with anything yeah so and the funniest thing though was one of the kids they have to ask you these questions when they're filling out your stuff like what's your name what's your address like all that stuff and then one of the questions they ask is like what's your do you have any aliases and one of the boys was super drunk and he was like yeah papa bear but they put that on his yep. record. Yep. And so I think it's so funny that if anything else ever happens to that guy, like he's a dad and he's like 50, is living in suburbia and he gets pulled over for whatever reason, they're like, it's AKA Papa Bear. Like, <laughs> Literally, my friend, I think, did a similar thing in high school where he had a fake ID with like an insane name on it, like Prescott S. Preston. No. And later he was in court for something and like everything was settled and everything was fine and then his lawyer had to be like one last thing uh, my client also has an alias prescott s preston <laughs> like something like that and the judge was just like whatever <laughs> those aliases they follow you around <laughs> i guess the moral of the story is like just don't give a dumb <laughs> alias <sighs> and yeah, papa bear <laughs> <laughs> we were all just like so Get irritated by it and then they were just holding us there until we blew a certain blood point alcohol yeah. so then it would turn they like would have they were all in front of each other and we're all still we're drunk as fuck. right and they have us blowing on these breathalyzers and we're just like go 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 my friend hannah's like done crying and she's flirting now she's got her she the cops kept being like put your legs down because she kept putting her legs up on papa bear <laughs> like resting them on his lap and we're all in orange jumpsuits because we just had bikinis <laughs> and then i was the first one to blow a low enough level but nobody could come get me right like there was literally like i was like all my friends are drunk this is before uber literally before in the time before uber and you didn't have a cell phone anyway no i didn't and if i had had a cell phone i didn't have the money for a uber from right. orville to chico that's yeah. a drive bro and at this point it's five o'clock in the morning oh so there's God. like they're like if you wait long enough there's a bus at seven i was like bro and then they took my orange jumpsuit and left me out in orville in my bikini i was like dude if something happens to me which it's likely to yeah i'm in a bathing suit at 5 a.m and i'm 21 yeah Who's responsible for that? They don't care about rape. They don't treat that as a real crime. No. They care about you being rude to them. Right, my bad. I literally, and also I they what they said to me is they said, you should have thought about that before you left the house today. I was like, wow. And these were women. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Luckily, Hannah got out soon after me and her friends weren't super fucked up. So like, we weren't like friends friends. Like we knew each other from the dorms. Right, right, right. And her friends, like I had been around them, so they gave me a ride home, nice. which was nice. We were able to carpool, which yeah. was chill. But that's, yeah, that's the second time I was arrested. And by the way, I don't think my parents know that. Your stepdad's about to find out. And my mom, and my dad, and my mother-in-law. <laughs> but it's not on my record, so. Did it happen? I don't know. <laughs> All right, now we can do your nails. Okay, great. Let's see a before. Ooh, a before is rough. You can see they still have a little gel left over from the old manicure. We're going to have to saw those off. Are we going to have to? I don't know if we can. I have a rat in the back that I pull out and he just nibbles it off. Okay, great. Okay, and then we're going to hit these bad these boys. These bad boys are rough. Yeah. These are not good times. No, that's, that's not okay. No. Well, you're in 
spa Lizzie. So relax in this tranquil environment. I will. And let's get you right with the Lord. Yay! Okay, Mal. Well, this you can't see both hands. I know, that's we're waiting. I cropped it so that we can't see them in the frame. Okay, they're but not first in the frame. First, I want everyone to know how your experience has been thus far. Okay, bliss. This salon is the best I've ever been to. I've never felt so catered to. Um, and some people might be put off by the decor, but I felt right at home and I felt as though, um, you know, mistakes were allowed. <laughs> Let's see your toes. The toes are great. They're my iconic white summer toe with some iridescence. Ooh. Dee, 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 They'll look better after a shower. Keep those toes moving. I don't shower. I can't. <laughs> I cannot stress that enough. <laughs> and here's the nail. Can you believe? We went with a checkerboard graphic. And stripes. Vertical and hoary. Hoary and vertical. Verdi, hoary. 10 out of 10. Fully recommend. Thank you, Mama. Yeah, book a Manny Petty at Lizzie's Spa. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thanks for being my first client. No, you're not my first. Damn it. Sorry. You know what? You also offer foot soaks. <laughs> it was a week <laughs> previous to the pedicure, but I did soak my feet here in an Epsom salt bath. <laughs> We did do that a week ago. Yeah. So you come a week early, you suck your toes, you get a hell of a massage in the spaceship. No cup holders, unfortunately. And then you get a gorgeous nail art mani. Wow. I didn't get gems, but there are gems aplenty. This is just like to let people know. So, you know, this might have been a short and sweet one. I don't know how long this turned out to. And it's the first time I've really done a story time. Did you think it was good? I thought it was great. I love story time. Yeah, but we all know you have low standards now. Yeah. Well, she kept saying my, the nails looked incredible, listen. and I was like... <laughs> I have... Bombastic side listen, eye. I want to back this up. I want to back this up. I have outrageously high standards. However, when it comes to people I love, I love everything they create, so I do really love these. They're not bad bad. They're not bad bad at all. They're so cool. They're very fun from a distance. Yeah, they are. Uh, uh. Uh, keep moving. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so keep moving, you guys. Keep breathing because that is integral to living, and I will see you next Tuesday.